Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. My name is Carrie and today's video I'm going to share with you my hurricane prep haul. So if you have no idea what hurricane prepping is, it's just basically getting ready for the event that a bad storm comes, we're out of power, or worse, I just want to be prepared for my family. There have been many times where I was not prepared and I want to be prepared this time. Um, so. I have been stocking up over the past couple months, just getting things here and there, and I wanted to show you like just a basic idea of the things that I have. I don't have everything out on the table. You'll, you'll see what I'm talking about, but I just wanted to give you an idea. So instead of me going through and showing you every single thing that I have, I just wanted to condense it down. So we're going to go ahead and get right into this video. But before I do, I forgot to mention that I will have another hurricane prep video linked below. It's the one I did last year. And also, I will leave a couple links for some checklists that you can print off. Um, and I'll link the exact one that I printed off as well. So, let's go ahead and get right into it. So, here is some of the stuff that I have laid out. Obviously, this is not everything. This is just a condensed down version of what I have. Um, so, I, like I said, I didn't want to like bore you with a huge, massive haul, basically. So, anyway, first off, we got some charcoal here. This is obviously very necessary if your power goes out and you don't have a generator to have a stove. I know a lot of people have those like camping stoves, which are great. I do want to find one eventually, but usually if power goes out, it's, I believe, and I'll knock on wood, <laughs> that if our power does go out, we won't go without very long, I hope anyway, um, just because of the location where we are at. Um, we are by a lot of essential businesses, so... I feel like they're going to turn the power on pretty quickly and work in our area. So anyway, God forbid we are out of um, power. We will have charcoal to make our food. And I do have, I do plan on getting another bag of this, but I didn't want to wipe the stores out. I wanted to like obviously only get what I felt like I needed at the moment. So I got one bag of that. Um, I have two skillets here, cast iron skillets. I got these in the camping section at Walmart. This one was like 10 bucks, and this one was $3 on clearance. Um, it didn't have a tag on it, so she marked it down for me. And um, I wanted to say, usually I would buy those like metal disposable pans or the um, aluminum, and we would just use those on the grill, but obviously they don't last as long. This is a better investment. It'll last forever as long as you take care of them. So got those. I also grabbed a first aid kit. Um, that's pretty self-explanatory. It's always good to have a small, compact first aid kit to just grab and go if you need to. And I'll get to that in a minute on my like to-go bag for like worst case scenario. But anyway, I also have some flashlights here, a little pocket knife. Um, this is a headlight. We actually have another one of these I have put up. Um, and these were all just a dollar a piece at Walmart, and they really do light up a whole room just with one light. So super great um, to have, and for only a dollar, you can't beat it, and they come with batteries in them. So got those. I have five ponchos here for us and the kids. You never know, so I got them ready to go. These are only um, $0.97 cent each at Walmart, so I grabbed those. I have... Some like squeezable fruit and vegetable mixes. Um, this is just the apple banana and this one is apple, carrot, and mixed berry. These are great for like breakfast, quick, easy, on the go, especially if you have no power. Same thing with the, um, what are these? Granola bars. I wanted to say um, I do have a lot of these and I have instant oatmeal. I have all kinds of different um, like dry foods that are really easy to make even if you don't have power. So just always keep on hand things that don't require heating up or minimal heating up in case you need to like use a skillet um, and charcoal. So got those, got some pop tarts here. Um, and like I said, this is just a little mini version of some of the food ideas. Um, we always grab spaghetti and meatballs, some chicken noodle soup. Um, this is just like for a snack. You can literally eat these right out of the can. It's totally fine. So I love boiled peanuts. I always like to grab these. And then we got some chicken corn chowder soup. Any type of canned foods are great to have when power is out because they're really easy to heat. Like I said, if you need to just use your grill, throw a little bit of charcoal on, and then use a pan, you can heat up a whole quick, easy meal for your family. We have lots of canned foods right now, which is great. And we also have a lot of freezer foods, um, like freezed, freezed, frozen meat. <laughs> And we will use that up. If power goes out, that's the first thing we will try to use up is all the foods that we have already so that way they don't go bad. 
um, before we start breaking into our canned food. So always use what you have in your fridge first. I also got some can or a can opener because some of the canned foods I have don't have the pop tops and obviously you want to have a handheld can opener. Got some face masks ready to go just in case we have to go out in public for anything. Um, I have some bread here. I also have some more bread frozen. I've had a lot of questions whenever I mentioned that I freeze my bread. Um, it doesn't make the bread soggy when it unthaws. It tastes fresh as soon as it unthaws. Like I've never had an issue freezing my bread. My mom always did it when I was growing up and I do it now and it works great. So I literally just pulled this one out of the freezer and you can see the bread's not soggy or anything like that. Um, so for those who have asked about that, freezing your bread is totally safe and fine. Um, next are some summer sausages here. I grabbed these because until you open them, you don't have to refrigerate these. So they're really great to have. I mean, we love summer sausage and crackers, so we could literally eat this for a meal if we needed to. And this is very filling. So I grabbed two of those. They were running out at the store and I didn't want to wipe them out. So I just grabbed two for now. I also grabbed some aluminum foil freezer bags. What I like to do with these is make my own ice and put them in the Ziploc bags and I'll just, if power does go out, I stick those all in my fridge and it helps keep your food cold. It obviously won't last forever, but it's better than nothing and it does help. So I always recommend if you have a bad storm coming your way, start making your own ice and filling it up in these bags and just stick them all over your fridge so that way your you know, cold food stay cold a little longer. And worst case scenario, get a cooler, go grab a bag of ice, put like your milk, your cheese, like essentials in there so that way they don't go bad. Next is some wipes. These are essential for our family. I use wipes for everything, especially if power goes out and you don't have hot water to bathe with. You want to have something you can wipe yourself down with in case you get dirty. I know that's a little TMI, but you never know. It's happened to us before. <laughs> we lived in Georgia. We lost power when if you live in a mobile home that has a well. You don't have water, so we had to have a way to bathe, and we went a week without power. So, baby wipes were essential. <laughs> also, dog food here. Um, I obviously got to make sure I prepare for my dogs as well because they depend on me. Got some waters. According to this, um, let me see this page I have. It says right here, one gallon per one person per day. So for a family of four. For five days, you need 20 gallons of water. Honestly, I don't think I have 20 gallons of like bottled water, but I do have a zero water filter that um, will filter, I think like 40 gallons. I could be wrong. Don't hold me to that. But I love the zero water filter. If you drink a lot of bottled water and it's still not enough, I recommend getting a zero water filter because it definitely helps supplement whenever you don't have bottled water on hand whenever the coronavirus broke out luckily i had my zero water filter or we would have had to drink the faucet water which we have here is city water and it is terrible so bad it tastes like straight chlorine and i just i can't do it and that zero water filter like filters out that chlorine taste for me and it's a must have because <laughs> i have always had well water and it was always clean like crisp well water so moving to like city water is a big adjustment and I'm, I still just can't use it. And I'm not trying to be spoiled or anything. I'm just being honest. Water has different flavors and if it's not good, it will make me feel sick to my stomach. I don't know why, but anyway, got some um, bug spray here. I actually have a whole new container of this. I just want to use this one up first. So I have this one ready to go. Um, and then we got board games here. These were at Walmart for $5 each on clearance, and last night we played this Monopoly Junior. Y'all, this game is so much fun if you have kids, and it's really easy to, like, manage because all it gives you is dollars. So you don't have to, like, try to explain. It's just great. It's a great way to get your kids playing games and understanding to take turns. Um, I love this game, and I could not believe it was on clearance. So check your local Walmart and see if y'all's are on clearance as well. Definitely recommend. Um, and then the Lion King game, sorry, it's upside down, but I got this one as well. And this one's a little complicated, to be honest. Um, we'll probably have to just practice with this game, but we'll figure it out. Moving on, I have all the dog's leashes and harnesses right there. Um, Little is my Dotson. She wears just a regular leash, and then Zoe and Honey have to wear a harness because 
they get like buck wild <laughs> when you put a leash on them so we have to put the harness on them just in case we needed to leave our house or like walk somewhere i want to make sure that they have their collars ready to go next um this little bag is for like extreme situation i just wanted to show you what i have if like if there's a major hurricane coming i like to have this ready to go or something similar this is the first time i've prepped like this big but the reason for this is if you're in a hurricane tornadoes pop up from out of nowhere okay and if you have a major hurt or tornado warning in your area i feel like having a bag like this with you is very important in so these bags there are two outfits socks and underwear for each of us so that's my bag there's dylan's and then the kids bags so we all have two outfits we have socks underwear in there and then we have some just essentials that you need toothbrushes toothpaste deodorant and a hairbrush and then in here this is like all of our very important documents that you like must have are in here ready to go with us like I said, just in case there's a bad storm and there's a lot of tornado warnings, we can just have this bag with us in worst case scenario. And obviously, if that we were in that, that situation, I would go ahead and just throw some snacks and foods in there just to be prepared. And back here, I have some crayons and a coloring book to keep the kids occupied. So the worst thing you can do um, during a major storm is panic because I swear everyone in the house starts panicking if mama starts panicking. It's very important to try your best to stay calm. I know it's hard. I know for me personally it's easier said than done because in, when we lived in Georgia in our single wide mobile home that was like really old and not in the best shape on the outside like the structure of it. Um, we lived in like a very like bad area I would say. Not in a bad area like as far as like like crime but like as far as storms every time a storm came through it seemed like there was a tornado near us every single time there was a storm we would have hail it was terrifying i remember like texting my sister-in-law and being scared to death laying in the tub with the kids to sleep that scared um and i know what it feels like i know that fear of having a bad storm but having this stuff ready makes me feel a lot better at least now because back then I never prepped like this. I never got anything ready. I didn't try. I just was living my life day to day. I would just go buy groceries. I never tried or attempted to grab things, um, you know, to prepare for a situation like this. And I wish I would have because it probably would have, like, lowered my stress level. There's a few other things um, now moving on that I wanted to share with you guys. So if there's a major storm is we get our baby carrier ready. So if you are, like, hunker down in an area and there's a tornado warning or something, I like to have that baby carrier ready to go if I need to stick Caden in it so that way my two arms are free to take care of my daughter. So I'm able to hold one on my body and then use my arms for the other one. I You always got to plan for that kind of stuff as a parent. I know it's like crazy. That's what anxiety does to you. <laughs> Makes you think of the worst things ever and I'm not laughing because I think it's funny. I'm laughing because I laugh when things get serious and when I get nervous, when I'm scared, I giggle. That's just who I am. So <laughs> anyway. Um, a couple other things I wanted to say that we do. I make sure my car is filled up with gas because if you live in Florida, then you know the first thing that goes is water and gas. So I always make sure we have gas in our car. And what else did I want to say? Oh, cash money. Make sure that you have some cash on hand because power goes out. Neither So does like the ATMs and stuff like that. So make sure you already have cash ready in case that you need um to buy something whether it's gas or food you never know it just makes you have enough money to like support your family for a couple days in cash but anyway thank you guys so much for watching today's video i know it was very random but i wanted to say if anybody has um ideas other ideas leave them below in the comments so everyone can get you know a general idea of what you might need in a situation like this um, I appreciate you guys watching very much, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, y'all.